G'day everyone and welcome to another Star Wars review. Next up for you today I'm going to give you a look at a couple of blasters. And I'm going to start off with this one here. The um, poor imitation of a hand Solo blaster. Um, the fact that it's orange, oh my god, what are they thinking? Um, it's just absolutely ridiculous to release this orange. I just can't believe it. Um, I did shop around and I tried to find you know, a black one, but they only had the um, early 80s one, which I um, do remember having way back then, but it's long disappeared somewhere. Um, the other complaint besides the horrid colour is the sound effects. Um, really tacky sounding, and I think it's probably got a lot to do with just a really poor quality speaker. I'll give you a quick listen to it. really distorted kind of sound uh, really tinny you know, no, no beef, no clarity um, and all up it's um, a pretty disappointing weapon um, I've seriously got to repaint this thing black and maybe try and change out that speaker there um, but I'm really hoping they do a decent um, black one of these one of these days with good sound effects so anyway, for now I'm going to give this one uh, 3 out of 10, and I think that's been generous. It's still fun for a kid to play with, but, you know, I just want something that's black at least, for crying out loud. Anyway, I'll move on one to one now that's much better, and that's this one here. It's the um, Clone Trooper Blaster. Much um, better, of course, being black. It's got a lot better feel to it. Uh, they both use AA batteries, by the way. Um, this one has a much cleaner, clearer sound. If you push the button alternative just one at a time, it'll change each time you pull the trigger. hold it down it'll continually do the, the one that it was up to. Um, this has got a, a sight here just like the other one but this one has a crosshair in it. Makes it look a little better when you're looking down it. Um, I'm really, you know, don't know what this red, uh, sorry, orange tip is in aid of. You know, they really should have made a red one at least. But, you know, I don't know, it just should have been black as far as I'm concerned. It does look good when it lights up, especially at night time. give this one about an 8. Um, there's really nothing too much wrong with it, just really do not like the orange tip, which I'm very tempted to just try and rip off, but I got the feeling I'll probably break it, but nothing a quick lick of paint wouldn't fix. Uh, I've noticed in the stores they have this um, being sold as the Stormtrooper one, as well as the Clone Trooper one. Um, they're just a slightly different um, paint job and um, I think it's kind of disappointing that they didn't do an um, individual Stormtrooper and Clone Trooper one rather than just making one and putting a different label on it. I've seen the Grievous one as well. It's made pretty well. It looks very much like the real Grievous gun and it does have a slightly different sound to this one. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these couple of weapons and I'll be back to do more reviews as soon as I can. So until then, may the Force be with you.